When I saw Jesus and gave it all. Hey, my name is Scott Boyer, and this is God in HD, all about seeing God in high definition with clarity, maybe using movies, pop culture, any way we can, we can help see the scriptures a little better. Well, today we're talking about the movie Minority Report, a Tom Cruise joint, one of my favorite. And specifically, we're talking about the mall scene, the chase scene where uh, he's getting chased by the cops. Why? Well, because I'm here in the Mall of America in Minneapolis. But I love that scene because here's the cops just running after him, but he's got the precog with him right by his side, guiding him every step of the way. And you know, she can see the future. So she's telling him, go left, go right, stop, go, pick up an umbrella. At one point she says, wait. And he says, we're being chased, wait. And all of a sudden the man with the balloons comes over and hides him from, the, the, from being seen. And, and they're just protected. It's an awesome scene. You see that precog, which was real close knit by his side, represents the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, which is able to lead you in your life, guide you, tell you which way to go, get you out of a jam. It says, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth and he will show you things to come. You see, the Holy Spirit is speaking all the time, always encouraging, always ministering, always guiding and, and leading us. The problem is we just don't always listen. But imagine if you could fine tune your ear, your spiritual ear to the voice of God. And imagine what that would look like. It looked like Tom Cruise getting delivered every time through the mall. It looked like, it looked like Jesus walking in the earth, being led of the Spirit everywhere he went. That's the way to live. And honestly, this is Christian living at the norm. Because it says in Romans 8, 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. This is what walking in the Spirit looks like. Walk in the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walking in the Spirit should be the greatest endeavor. Because as we do that, we will not have to worry about sinning and getting into lust and all these other things. Walking in the Spirit is the way to live. Do you remember when the, when the precog stopped this stranger and said, don't go home, he knows. You know, protecting her from whatever danger might have been home. That's a word of knowledge right there. And the Holy Spirit can give you these words uh, for other people that only they know and only God knows and, and it's meant to help people. You remember they walked by a homeless man and the, uh, the precog said, drop some money. And so Tom Cruise dropped some money and, and just then the cops walked in and tripped over the homeless man as they were picking, as he was picking up the money, buying him more time. The, the way to live is being spirit led every day. At the end of that scene, they go out in the rain and Tom Cruise just happens to have his umbrella because the precog said, Gra grab it. And in the meantime, he's being protected from the view once again of the cops. They can't see him. And they came out of that place smelling like a rose. It's good to be led by the Spirit of God. And I'm gonna tell you, there are people around you that are struggling with depression and suicide and, and maybe they just need an encouraging word to make it through their day. As you have trained your ear to hear from the Holy Spirit, as you have let the Spirit of God lead you, He's going to be giving you wisdom. He's going to be giving you words. He's going to be telling you to go left and telling you to go right and saving you some pain as you live by the Spirit. I encourage you to do that. It says, it says, today if you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. So I want to leave you with this last verse. Psalm 73, I am, nevertheless, I am continually with you. You have held me by my right hand. You shall guide me with your counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Look, I encourage you and me, let's continue, let's start and continue living a spirit-led life. That's the best life to live right there is being, being guided by the Holy Spirit. Jesus gave me another chance and now my life is like a praise dance. Went from a b-boy to a god-man stance to come.